Okay, there we go. Now we're recording. So I'm going to move a little bit faster on the eyes and the mouth for shading because we just went over some of those important parts with the nose. And so again, I like to start with the dark parts of the eye. And so I've already got it drawn out. I'm going to go in and mark some of those darker areas, referencing my photo, making sure I'm able to see what some of those darker areas are. And so definitely around the eyelashes, definitely around the pupil. And I'm going to go in and just kind of draw those out. You can notice with this, I had to definitely use um, some more like line-like features with that. I'm going to go in and make this crease darker. And I'm not even going to worry about the eyebrow yet. And so sweet, I've got some of those dark parts mapped out. And so I'm going to focus in on this um, iris here and take my age pencil and just kind of create a layer of graphite here. People call it pencil lead with drawing pencils and actually your normal pencil is actually called graphite. And so I just briefly shaded that in and then I'm going to go in and make some of these areas darker. And so remember how we had mapped out the highlights where the light hit off the eyes in our drawing? I'm making sure to leave those nice and bright because I don't want to take away some of the effects of that. And so I'm going in and I'm kind of shading in the area that I can see are darker. Awesome. So now I'm going to go to my tear duct here, and this one's pretty light, so I'm going to go in and just very lightly with my H pencil, kind of shade that in, and the corner of my eye is here. And so since our eyelid, our eyelashes reflect a shadow, generally this area is going to be a little bit darker. Cool. So let's see what else I'm missing. So I want to hit kind of this underneath the eye area in this area here, and then we'll get to those eyebrows. And so kind of looking at the direction that this is going, I can see, okay, I'm gonna start by just very smoothly kind of shading in this area. Remember, you can always try to blend it out with your finger if you like that, and then going in with the eraser for any parts that you need to get lighter. So I'm bringing this line all the way up there. And I can see that all of this eyelid is shaded, but I want to leave like a slight highlight here. So I'm going to just kind of go in and shade like so. Nice. I'm going to make this part just a little bit darker. And this part here, just a little bit darker. Cool, cool, cool. So now I'm going to go in and kind of shade some of this under eye area. And this area is just darker than that top part in general. And so I'm taking my pencil, I'm starting one layer, so then I know that I'm going to make that another layer will make it darker. So I'm going to go in and do that. And then you're like, hey, Mrs. Ricketts, my eyelashes are kind of gone. So now I'm just going to briefly go over those eyelashes so that they show back up again. I'm not trying to make them too dark. I'm using that H pencil um, because if you make your eyelashes super dark and thick, they start to look a little bit less realistic. So I'm going to do that down here as well. Cool, we've got some eyelashes again. And I want to just like take off just a little bit of pencil here to kind of show where the eyelid hits the eye. So now we're going to work our way up to those eyebrows. And this is my tip for eyebrows. You're going to be tempted to draw each individual hair. You don't need to do that. So let's go ahead and first kind of go over and shade in the entire eyebrow. I bet Beyonce uses makeup on her eyebrows and probably does this already. And so we're just going to borrow from what she probably already does and go in and shade that area. And then once we do that, then we can go in and draw some hairs. We don't need to do all of them. And so make sure that when you're drawing any sort of eyelash hair, 
that your pencil is going in the direction that the hair is growing. And so I'm going here and I'm making sure that they follow the way that her hair grows. And kind of filling in any areas that look empty. Sweet. Got her eyes. I'm going to make sure that I make any areas just darker that I feel like need to be darker. And then we can move on to our mouth. Yeah, feel pretty good about that. Cool. So let's go into our mouth here. So again, I like to start with the dark areas. I'm going to use my H pencil for most of this mouth because her mouth is pretty light here. Hello. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to hit this edge. So I can see this is some of our dark areas is this edge. And a lot of in between the two lips is is dark. So I'm going to just add a light layer here. I left a little space for her teeth. They aren't going to be totally white because of shadows, but I don't want them to be totally dark here because she does have just a bit of deep showing. Okay, so I started off with that part and then I'm going to look back at my photo. There it is. I can see the top lip is darker than the bottom lip. That generally is the case when you're drawing because our top lip catches more shadow than our bottom lip. And so I'm going to go in and just add a quick light layer across the entire upper lip. So I'm going in. It's not perfect, but I got that entire area shaded in. And then I'm going to look at my photo and I see that this middle area is darker. So I'm going in and I'm shading that, making that darker. Yeah, there we go. Getting that going like so. Very nice. And this bottom part here is a little bit darker. I'm just going to kind of bring that line up and shade. Yeah, very nice. You can almost see there's kind of a line that I'm forming here. She's probably got some form of maybe a lip liner or something on. And so I'm defining that lip with that line. I'm going to bring this shading kind of up a little bit more. This area is a little bit more darkness. I'm going to let that rest for the top lip for now and move on to my bottom lip. And so I'm looking at my bottom lip. I can see this is a big highlight here super light. This is kind of some of our darkest areas are around that. And then there's a shadow that's not actually a part of her lip, but a part of her chin where her lip casts a shadow on her chin. So I'm going to hit that too when I'm doing my shading. And so I'm going to quickly just kind of very lightly draw out where I want that highlight to be so that I'm not shading where that highlight is. And again, I'm going to go in and just do a super light shading on all those areas except for that highlight. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So now is when we go in and do some more sophisticated shading. So I'm going to bring, make sure it's a little bit darker up here. And same on this side here. It gets a little bit darker kind of towards the edge. I'm going to do that on the other side. I'm seeing it's a little bit darker. It's not as top, not as dark as that top lip, but close. And then I'm going to bring this part. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, I'm checking with my drawing here. I can see that this part's a little bit lighter. And I'm going to quickly just add in the shadow that's cast on the chin here. So I feel like that helps kind of pop the lip out. So. That's going to be one of the darker points that happens in there. So I'm going to take my B pencil real quick and just shade that part to get it just a little bit darker. 
and then maybe again, like we talked about with the paper towel, maybe you like using your paper towel to make your blending just look a little bit more smooth. And so maybe you'll go in and kind of smooth things out. See how it's kind of smear and stuff though. So I'm gonna go in with my eraser after I do that and kind of just clean up some of those edges just so that I don't lose kind of some of the refinement. And then her lip, there's some areas that are highlighted that I didn't get like here and here. So I just added those in with my eraser. Oh, my teeth are still pretty darn white. So I'm actually, if you're a fan of using the paper towel, I'm just gonna smudge a little bit of graphite and you can see, wow, now those are less white. So real quick, since I lost some of my darkness here, I'm gonna go in and just make this area just a little bit darker. So I can keep those nice dark darks. And a little bit down here too. Keep those dark dark. And so sweet, yeah. We got our lip shaded in. Remember, you want to make sure that top lip is just a little bit dark darker than that bottom lip to show some of that shadow that's cast from the nose. Great, so we've got some of our shading done here. Good job, guys. All right, so that's what we've got. Working our shading. We're gonna not shade the full face yet. I want you guys to focus on, on getting these three different facial features. All right, I'll see y'all, bye.